In the book of Psalm 33, verse 10, Psalm 33, verse 10, the Bible says, The Lord bringeth the counsel of the heathen to naught, and maketh the devices of the people of none effect. The Lord bringeth the counsel of the heathen to naught, and maketh the devices of the people of none effect. Shout this declaration loud and clear. Good news shall not come to an end in my life. Good news shall not come to an end in my life. Declare it loud and clear. Good news shall not come to an end in my life. Good news shall not come to an end in my life. Good news shall not come to an end in my marriage. Good news shall not come to an end in my business. Good news shall not come to an end in my ministry. In Jesus' name, it is done. Amen. Hello, viewers across the world. You are watching Evangelist Joshua TV. Have you been subscribed to this channel? If yes, congratulations. If you are not yet to be subscribed to this channel, kindly subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button so that you can be getting dream interpretations, warfare prayers, and other powerful spiritual content. By the grace of God, we are looking at a very important topic. The topic is, these are the dreams that hinder and block your blessings. These are the dreams that hinder and block your blessings. You have been having a particular dream. Anytime this dream will come like this, that expectation will be hindered. Your progress will stop. That blessing will automatically turn to a cause. There is a particular dream in everyone's life that either stands as a blessing or stands as a form of obstacle, hindrance, stagnation, or cause. As a child of God, you need to know a particular dream that always hinder your destiny. As a child of God, you need to know a particular dream that always block your expectation. You can't just dream and just feel that they are just dream. No. Just like a patient, a patient will also know a particular drug that works for his or her system. The same thing happens to dream. Check your dream. Check your dream life. What, kind, what type of dreams that is always pointed to hindrance, stagnation, difficulty, setback in your life? Anytime this dream comes to play in your life, don't forget disappointment, failure, and struggle. So if you can identify those dreams, it is very important you write those dreams down. If it is eating the dream, write it down. Don't just assume that they are just eating the dream, you just pray. No, those are the problem. Where are those problems are coming from? If the dream is sexual dream, write it down. If the dream is jumping from the top and fall down, write it down. And begin to pray against it. Father, every evil food in my dream, every power, give me food in the dream, I vomit them out. Begin to demonstrate it. That's how to overcome it. Many problems today did not start from somebody. Many problems today start from your dream life. By the grace of God, we are going to tell some of the dreams that you may have been having, but you did not take cognizance of. But that dream is affecting your life and destiny. Number one dream is dreams of losing your keys. Losing your keys. We all know the symbolism of key. Key represents the opening. Key represents breakthrough. Key represents access to something. Key represents possession. Key represents you know, control. But when the key is stolen in the dream, it hinders your breath too easily. It blocks your blessings. So which means that when somebody gave you a car key in the dream, but all of a sudden you can't find that key again, you have lost your blessing. You have lost your breakthrough. That expectation has come, but because of your carelessness and because of your ignorance of certain things, you lose that blessing. The same thing happens to pregnancy. Because you do not pay attention to that pregnancy, you lose that pregnancy. When you are losing a key, you can't find a key in the dream. The enemy is hindering your blessing. The enemy is blocking your progress. You need to pray. Write that dream down. If that dream is one of the dreams you normally had, write that dream down and begin to pray. Father, every good thing that I have lost, because key is a representation of good thing. Father, every good thing that I have lost, I repossess them back. I repossess them back in Jesus' name. Number two dreams that can hinder or block your blessings is dreams of being arrested. If you are being arrested in a dream, you have been hindered. If you are being arrested in a dream, your progress has been blocked. 
if you have been arrested in the dream, which means that your enemy has stopped you. They have hindered some good things in your life. You have been arrested. No movement again. No progress again. You can't even think of fulfilling your destiny. You, you know, no, no, nothing you can achieve again. Because why? You have been arrested by dark powers. And that is the reason why you are not making progress. You keep having issues upon issues. You keep having problem upon problem with some people. Having conflict and arguments. They have arrested you in the realm of the spirit. And that is why you are not making progress. You have to break it. Write that dream down. Number three. Dream of chewing gum. Full your mouth. Chewing gum. Full your... You are, you are just eating chewing chewing gum. Chewing chewing gum. You just discover that the chewing gum full your... All the whole of your mouth, your tongue. You just... You are just... You know... You just squeezing your, your mouth, your face. Chewing gum. Just full your mouth. It's a sign of obstacle. It's a sign that the enemy wants to kill you. It's a sign of sickness. It's a sign that something is... Something that is deposited in your body that needs to come out. That is an arrow. Chingon, full your mouth. It's an arrow of the wicked. Not just the normal chingon you normally see in the market or everywhere. It's a spiritual chingon that wants to block you from, from saying the truth, truth. That wants to block certain things in your life. You need to pray for your breakthrough. Number four, dreams of seeing empty baskets. Empty basket. Empty basket is a symbol of profitless hard work. Empty basket. It's a symbol of setback. It's a symbol of decrease. It's a symbol of emptiness. Physical emptiness, spiritual emptiness. It's a symbol of loss. Everything that you have worked for, devourer has come, has taken everything away. When you are seeing empty basket in the dream, just empty, nothing is there. For some women, it can represent barrenness. For some men, it can represent financial dryness. Nothing is in that basket again. Difficulty, a period of dryness, a period of wilderness. Nothing is working out for you. Empty basket. God, fill my basket of life. Fill my basket of, li of life. You may have been spiritually weak. Nothing is working out for you. Empty basket. Nothing is there again. The enemy has drained everything. They have stolen everything away. Just like you had a dream. You were packing fruits into that basket. All of a sudden, somebody came and stole all the fruit in the basket. It's a spirit of loss. Somebody is hijacking your blessings. You need to pray. Number five dream that stands as hindrance and blockage is when you are seeing blood in the dream. Blood in the dream. Blood is caring, threatening. You are seeing blood in the dream. It's a sign of danger. It's a sign of bad thing want to occur. It's a sign of sickness. It's a sign for you to guard your territory. It's a sign that the enemy is planning to achieve a mission in your life. Maritally, financially, business-wise, your ministry. For some women, blood is a sign of threats. You have to pray. The enemy wants to hinder you. The enemy wants you to cry. Reject that dream. Cancel that dream. Number six. When you dream of a bridge falling apart, a, a bridge falling apart in a dream, it is a sign of cause. The cause of thou shall not excel, thou shall not succeed, thou shall not get there, thou shall not fulfill your purpose. You were on top of a bridge, all of a sudden, the bridge collapsed and you fell into that water. The spirit of embargo. The spirit of hindrance. The enemy, maybe there are some causes in your life, there are some causes in your family, in your foundation, that has vowed that nobody in the family will ever cross the line, will ever break that protocol, and that's what is affecting you today. A bridge in the realm of the spirit is just like a, a link between, between where you are to your breakthrough. You could not. It's, a, it's an aborted mission. You need to pray. Enemy is behind your case. Pray, God. Every good thing that is collapsed in my life, repair it, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Number seven. When you dream of seeing broken eggs in the dream, broken eggs. Egg is a representation of life. If you look at some animals, some animals do not just come like that. Some bird do not come, do not just appear like that. They pass through the process of eggs. 
the same thing like woman being in the belly of a woman start with eggs so when you are seeing broken eggs in the dream when you are a business person it means that you are you are about to experience a period of loss failure in your business broken eggs in a dream it's a sign of destruction it's a sign of starting all over again it's a sign of death you know it's a sign of disfavor it's a sign that you are working in vain something is spoiling the blessings of God in your life. Indras, fruit of the womb. Indra, the fruit of the womb. Miscarriage, broken eggs. Business failure. Relationship failure. Marital failure. That's what it means. You need to pray for restoration. Number eight. When you dream of losing important items, you are losing important items in the dream. They have taken your certificate. They have taken your documents. They have stolen your passport. They have stolen your immigration documents. Important documents. They have taken them away. All these things are part of our life. Part of our glory. Those are the things that make us, you know, stand out in life. But when those things are no more, it's a sign of hindrance. It's a sign of retrogression. It's a sign that you have been defeated. May you not be defeated. When you are losing important items in the dream, it's a cause. Nothing is working out again. It's as if the more you are working hard, the, 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 the more the disappointment in your life. You can imagine your certificate is gone. You can't find it again. You can imagine important documents. You can't find them again. That contract, that contract document, you can't find that document again. It's a sign of loss. You need to pray against that. The enemy want to delay you. Number nine, when you dream of a door, close by itself you saw a door close by itself in a dream that door you saw close by itself that door represents your glory represent the access point but when that door is closed by himself for some people it's a sign of closed door it's a sign of closed door the enemy has shut down something in your life something something will not come up they don't want good things to have access to your life when your life Lack divine favor. Every good thing will be shut down. Nothing will work out for you again. A closed door, a closed mouth is a closed destiny. You are going to pray. Father, every closed door in my life. Oh Lord, open it. Every closed door in my life. Every closed door in my finances. Every closed door in my spiritual life. Open it, oh Lord. In Jesus' name. Number 10, when you dream of being chained down. You dream of being chained down. It's a spirit of imprisonment. It's a spirit of stagnation. It's a spirit of failure. It's a spirit of disappointment. It's a spirit of wasted time. You are being chained down. Chained down. Nothing is growing in your life. It is just like a standstill. Chained down by the forces of the wicked. When you discover that you can't move forward, you have been chained down. When you discover that you can't achieve any meaningful thing in life, you have been chained down. I'm not talking about physical chain. I'm talking about spiritual chain. When you discover that you have money, you have wealth, but you can't make good use of that money, you have been chained down. You need to pray for your deliverance and breakthrough today. Number 11, when you see strange birds in the dream, strange birds, they are just coming up. They are just ranging. ranging. They are just ranging in the dream. Maybe they are attacking you. They are just hearing their noises and... You know, their presence in that dream, you know, is scaring to you. They, want, they are coming to come and hinder you. They are coming to come and block your blessing because they saw, because they've seen that something good is coming. In the realm of the spirit, they've dispersed those evil birds to come and block your way. You need to pray. Number 12, when your hair is being shaved in the dream, your hair is being shaved in the dream. It's a sign that the enemy is injuring you. They are blocking your blessings. They want to make you look old. Old. So that people will not have things to associate with you again. It's a spirit of hindrance, spirit of shame, disgrace, reproach. It will affect you in such a way that it will tarnish your own image. The good reputation you have built many years over time will be destroyed just by single shaving of hair. Look at many people today. They are falling down from grace to grass because of this dream. 
your hair is your wealth. When your hair is being shaved out, everything good about your life has been taken away. You need to pray. Number 13, when you see red oil in the dream, red oil, palm oil, red thing, red oil in the dream, it's a signal, it's a red flag, red flag, red flag. You know the red flag I'm talking about. When you are seeing red palm oil in the dream, palm oil in the dream, it's a red flag, red flag, red flag, red flag. You have to beware. Number 14, when you dream of seeing masquerade, masquerade, ah, masquerade coming. You haven't seen masquerade in the day of your marriage. You saw masquerade. What is a masquerade doing in my, my marriage? Masquerade following you. Or you are following masquerade. Masquerade pursuing you. Let me tell you. You don't have to say it doesn't matter. When you are seeing masquerade in the dream, it's a sign of battles in your foundation. Ancestral battles. It's a sign that there are some power. There are some forces. And where you are coming from, there says... I would rather die than to see this person getting married or breaking through in life. Those are masquerade. It doesn't matter whether other people in your family have gotten married, they are blessed, but the reason why they are attacking you is because you have a star, a glorious star, a glorious star. Number 15, when your teeth are broken in the dream, it's a sign of hindrance. Your teeth are broken in the dream. Death. Your teeth are broken in a dream. It's like losing everything. You know, you have lost everything in life. Your teeth are broken. Nothing is working out for you. It's a sign of delay. They've blocked your blessings. They've tamed you. They do not want you to communicate again. They have shut you down. Have you seen a person with that teeth laughing? They do not want you to express yourself. It's a sign of the address. Because they know that there's something within you. And I say, you are a pastor. And if you are a pastor, you always dream that all your teeth are broken away. They want to kill your ministry. You have to pray. Number 16, if you see yourself being drowned in the dream, they want to kill you. They want to bury you. They want to destroy you. They've already, you know, dragging you down. They want to pull for your downfall. That to tell you that you have enemies around you. You need to pray and protect yourself. For the power of God to take charge of your life. 17. When you go to dirty toilet in the dream, you find yourself going to dirty toilet in the dream. You have been in that. Your blessings have been blocked. Your joy is no more again. No connection. You're always finding yourself going to the wrong places. Dirty toilet in the dream. It's a sign of course. It's a sign that there's a covenant in you that is working against victory. You need to pray. Have you ever seen a person being in a, in a waste bin, sitting down there and begin to eat. It's only a mad person that can only do that. But why must he be going to the dirty toilet in the dream? That dirty toilet in the dream, in the realm of the spirit, it's not a dirty toilet, too. It's just a place of the herbalist. It's just a dirty place. You know, the, the house of the herbalist is always dirty. They've already taken your glory. They have captured you. You need to pray. Release yourself so that you can go free. Release yourself so that you can fulfill destiny. Release yourself so that you can have this breakthrough in your life. You can't just remain in one spot for life. No! That is not God's agenda for your life. Break out now and break that curse that is prevailing in your life. I may God give you that victory in Jesus' name. 18. If you are holding fake currency in the dream, you have been in that. Fake currency. Fake dollar. In the dream, fake pounds, fake euro in the dream, fake naira in the dream. You are holding it in the dream. You are believing that though financially. Your financial blessings have been blocked. It's a deceptive spirit, too. Ah, uh, you you carry the fake currency, you are just moving ahead, just going everywhere, and you are rejoicing. It's a fake currency already. If care is not taken, police may come after you. First accusation will come in. Ah, ah this is my money now. And you now know that that money is a setup. Be very, very careful. Number 19, when your groom, I mean your groom, your husband-to-be, refuses to get married to you in the dream. Your groom, your husband-to-be, refuses to get married to you in the dream. Marital hindrance. Marital delay. Failure at the head of breakthrough. They say, no. The man, the man just changed his mind. 
Just about three days to your wedding. Ah, I will not marry her. Ah, I'm seeing her in my dream. She's pursuing me. Ah, I have been warned by God that I should not marry her. No, 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 no. Ah, I don't care whether it's a day before the marriage. Ah, as long as this, this revelation is disturbing me, let me cut off everything. Why is it so? There are the powers in your foundation. I say, no, this lady, this woman, she, she, she belongs to us. Yes, the spirit spouse are saying, oh, we are not going to release him. We, not, we are not going to release her to you. So we, we, we frustrate her. You need to go for deliverance. If you are having this kind of dream, go for deliverance so that you can be set free and get married to the right person. And if you eventually get married and you are under this yoke, I'm talking to you as a woman, if you eventually get married, ah, except God loves you, or except God wants to prevail. Otherwise, you may face a big problem in the marriage. You have to pray. Anything that you need to do, if you want to enter into marriage, don't just say, ah, God has given me the right husband and the right man. You must go, you and your husband, go for deep, deep deliverance. And may the Lord help you in Jesus' name. Twenty. lastly, when you see stain all over your body, stain, maybe like blood stain, or just stain all over your body in the dream, it's a sign of hindrance. It's a sign of evil mark or something that is standing as a kind of, you know, spoiling your reputation, spoiling good things in your life, spoiling the blessings of God in your life. You need to pray. I pray the Lord Almighty will take away. If any of this dream is applicable to you, please and please, I am advising you, after praying against it, and all these things still, you know, still persist again, please go and Go and meet a powerful man of God for deliverance to deliver you. I, am, I know what I'm saying. They are, all these dreams, they are, they are spiritual hindrance. They are destruction. They are destruction. You can't just put them aside. No. Face them. Tackle them. Prevail over them. And you begin to go to another next level in life. I pray the Lord Almighty will deliver you completely from the hands of your enemies. In Jesus' name. Close your eyes. Tell prayer for number one loud and clear. Every law of Satan, tie me down. Be nullified. Be nullified. Be nullified. In the name of Jesus. Every law of Satan, tie me down. Be nullified. Be nullified. Be nullified. In the name of Jesus. Every law of Satan, tie me down. Be nullified in Jesus' name. Two, powers assigned to render me unfit for promotion. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to render me unfit for promotion. Die, 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 die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to render my life unfit for promotion, unfit for success. Die in Jesus' name. Three, every evil satanic gate blocking my breakthrough be uprooted in the name of Jesus. Every evil satanic gate blocking my breakthrough be uprooted, be uprooted, be uprooted, be uprooted, be uprooted. In the name of Jesus, every evil satanic gate blocking my breakthrough, blocking my progress, blocking my success, be uprooted in Jesus' name. For all those who seek my death shall die in my place. By this time tomorrow, all those who seek for your death shall die in your place. In Jesus' name, it is done. Amen. If this broadcast has blessed you, share to your friends and family. This is Evangelist Joshua Oreke. God bless you.